It's bad enough that the US is dealing with Africa as a bloc instead of at least dealing with some countries oh, and a more individual basis that shows a commitment to nuanced work and investment that requires a deep study of the parties involved. It just reeks of indifference. If we are being honest, some indifference would be excused because Africa has simply not made the continent a market valuable enough for the wealthy nations to be overly concerned about. But this cannot be a one-way evaluation. Africa, too, needs to take proper note of where its interests are best served and give that the deserved attention that a key pillar of American support for Africa has been the African Growth and Opportunity Act AGOA, trade program that gives sub-Saharan African countries that meet certain criteria tariff-free export access for specific product categories to the United States. The AGOA program allows for the export of 5,240 tariff items. These goods must be either wholly obtained, grown, fished, mined, etc or sufficiently manufactured in an AGOA country. The rules dictate that, sufficiently manufactured, means that all third country materials have undergone a substantial transformation. At least 35% of the goods value is added in the beneficiary country, with up to 15% of that value attributable to US input. The goods must be imported directly from the ports of the AGOA country concerned. The AGOA program was established in 2000 by then President Bill Clinton to improve ties. It was meant to be mutually beneficial by giving the US economy access to a continental market with almost a billion potential consumers. In reality, it has yet to turn out this way as the interplay between the average wealth level of even middle-class Africans and the foundational cost structures of the U.S. economy mean that most American-made products cannot be sold profitably to Africans at scale.